How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back to a what I'm liking and not so much. And I do have a special guest with me and collabing with Mona, Monica McGillicuddy. So if you guys would like to tune in and see what maybe we're liking and maybe not liking, keep on watching. I am collabing today with Monica McGillicuddy. I got to know her actually from her commenting on my videos. I'm not sure how she found me, maybe from me collabing with other people, but pretty much that's how I found Monica was when she'd uh, comment on my videos. And as I say, a lot of times, I sometimes will check out and see if somebody has a channel because not everybody announces, hey, I have a channel, would you mind coming over to mine? Got to know her from that. And I started watching her videos and, uh, and she was, you know, like a lot of us mature beauties, you know, on her skincare journey. And she was talking about retin A and everything. And just, you know, she was learning from all of us. Like we're learning, you know, basically from each other, like what works for us. And, you know, we're not all going to have the same things that we like. And not everything's going to work the same as it does for us, for somebody else. But sometimes it just helps us point in a direction that we want to go to. And we'll try the product out. And then we find out ourselves if it's going to work for us. And so I really, really find Monica very uh, knowledgeable in the beauty world, even though she, I'm sure she's probably going to be like, you know, she's learning as us, but I just, she has a, she's very well spoken. She is in real estate. So um, she's very uh, knowledgeable with her real estate and she's somebody that probably is used to talking to people and informing them of things and how to talk to people and give her opinions and thoughts. So, and another thing that always stands out to me when I'm watching her videos is her husband. He's a big supporter. I mean, not a lot of, cause like my husband probably doesn't even watch my videos as far as I know. If he does, he doesn't tell me. So, you know, he's just, eh, you know, you, you don't mind. I get my, I'm obsessed like I am with my beauty products. Yeah. Her husband's like, a big supporter and he's there with her and they're just such a cute couple. They remind me a lot of uh, Susan W and David. If you have watched them, I'll put a link down below to her channel. Uh, Susan informs us. Uh, she don't film as much as what she used to, but she does get to pop on here and there and let us know about a good bargain, good buy, something she's liking or TSV. Uh, yeah, Monica reminds me and her husband remind me of that you know that couple that bond and everything so I think it's cute and I just I really enjoy Monica like I said I've learned a good bit from her so I'm gonna put a link down below to her video please go check her out show her some love subscribe if you like I I can guarantee you're not gonna be disappointed so let's go ahead and get on to my items honestly I don't have a lot of cosmetics I did bring in some of my skincare hair care body stuff and whatever and I do have a couple things for makeup but I didn't get bring out a whole lot. So let's first go into hair care. Okay, so the company Sonoran um, had sent me some other products and it was a few products that I was interested in that I wanted to try out. So they sent me the avocado uh, hazelnut hydrating hair and skin conditioner. I shared these in uh, a haul video with you guys already and I believe I did have this and the likes and not likes already, this one here. And this here, this product here, I really do like. I have tried it as a deep conditioner and it really was a nice deep conditioner. I didn't have any problems with it. It's a nice creamy smooth um, consistency to it. It's pretty thick and a pretty thick moisturizer. The scent is amazing from it. I really, really like like it a lot. It would be an item I would think on purchasing again because I do like it on my skin and I do like it in my hair. It did a nice deep conditioning. Sadly, these two products I didn't like so much and I feel bad saying that, but uh, that was the bamboo and green tea moisturizing conditioner and the bamboo and cucumber moisturizing shampoo. For 
for the size of this product here, I did have to pump out a good bit. And I can already feel like I'm not going to get much use out of it. So that was like the disappointing part. But I do have like long hair. And the way that this shampoo distributed in my hair is the kind of shampoo that I don't like distributed in my hair. Uh, where I feel like when I put it in, it's really not doing anything to my hair. I I don't know how to explain it other than it just wasn't, it didn't really do too much for me. Like the after effects, it wasn't too bad. You know, I'm not going to say it was horrible. It just, I I just was like, you know, no, I probably won't purchase these items here. Uh, and then the bamboo and green tea conditioner, which I can already feel it's pretty light as well. And I you know, pumped a good bit in. This conditioner didn't seem to do what this avocado and hazelnut did. So I feel like this one worked better for my hair. So sadly, these two items here are just a not so much, but it has nothing to do with maybe other people. Somebody else might be able to get a better benefit from these than me. So just keep that always in mind when I say a not so much because these are things that's not working out for me so much. So yeah, but really like and I highly recommend the avocado hazelnut. So let's go into body, body wash and body products. So this is the Caress Passionate Spell uh, for a lasting mesmerizing scent with passion fruit and a fiery orange rose. Here is the bottle here. This is what it looks like. I'm going to tell you guys right now, and I, I'm pretty sure Bath & Body Works discontinued Cashmere Glow, and I really liked the smell of Cashmere Glow because it had that warm vanilla, vanilla scent to it, and this totally smells a lot like it. I wouldn't say exactly, but in, in a lot of ways it does. It smells like it. So if you guys are missing your cashmere glow and you want something close to it or something similar to it, I would say get this one here, the Passion, uh, Passionate Spell from Caress. All right, the other item, oh my goodness. I'd have to say this is maybe, I don't know if it's my first or second favorite in the Shea Sugar Scrubs. You all know I love my Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrubs. I've shared many of these on my channel this one is the Hawaiian Kauai one, Hawaiian Kauai or Kauai. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So if not, I apologize. Oh my goodness. This one smells, oh my goodness. This smells great. I am loving this one. Here it is right here. Now I know they have a rose one, so you know I'm going to be getting that rose one because I love anything that has a scent of rose. Haven't tried it yet, but oh my goodness, if you have not tried the Tree Hut Sugar Scrubs, they are fantastic. They do not, they don't melt as quickly as some of those sugar scrubs can when you're trying to exfoliate your skin. They, they're just perfect. For the price, you can get them at Ulta sometimes on great sales and great buys. I highly recommend checking out Tree Hut Scrubs. I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple skincare items that I have shared already before, but I am loving them and I am using them. One is the Dr. Brandt Micro, Microdermabrasion Age Defying Exfoliating Exfoliant, Exfoliant Anti-Age. Jeez, that's a lot. But here it is here. It is a seventy-some dollar item. Now I'm curious because somebody else had mentioned they found a dupe to this, and I know what it is, and I'm going to go ahead and get it, and I want to try it for myself and see. Let you guys know because if that's the case and it's way past half, like the price of this, then it would be worth it to get that one. This is a really good microdermabrasion for somebody that, you know, even sensitive skin. It's not very hard and. Or anything on your skin when you're exfoliating or anything like that it's really good it has a lemon scent to it uh, some kind of lemony scent so I don't know I'd have to look and see what some of the ingredients in here is but it does have some kind of lemon scent so okay two products from the uh, Zen Abaji line that you guys know I just really really enjoy that line a lot uh, I'm not on here like trying to sponsor them all the time or anything like that it's just I really do love them and I'm seeing the effects from them and I just, I really like them. They are uh, a more um, higher brand, you know, like price and everything. Uh, some of the items can be like $120 or something like that. I, I don't think it's too bad 
uh, considering especially if they work well and they work good for you. The problem I would have is that some of the skincare brands that try to charge you like a couple hundred to 300 and on up, um, I wouldn't be that person. But if you're somebody that can afford them, you know, so these are a little more uh, higher brand. These two products here together are magic. So if you can afford these and can get these, I would highly recommend trying these two things out. And for me, now, if you're doing Retin-A, I wouldn't recommend this product here. This is the um, Brightnix Skin Brightener and Correcting Cream, and it has 0.5% retinol in it. I'm pretty sure you don't want to use something with retinol if you're doing a Retin-A, or you won't want to use this on the same day as you're doing the Retin-A. I'm not 100% sure. Monica would be the person, and Natalie and a couple other ones would be the person to find out from them that do do retin-a but this is a retinol so this i take a little bit of the retinol a little bit of this and mix it in with this um, immerse renewal cream anti-aging formula this here it's a nice really nice moisturizer and pump it out and mix them together put them on my face during the daytime this is more of a daytime moisturizer so i'll put these two together and put them on and Oh my goodness, I've noticed a difference in my skin texture, the way my skin is looking and everything, just loving it. So yeah, if you can afford these, I highly recommend trying to get both of these and checking them out. And then lastly, let's get into makeup. So makeup, I had a little trial of the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Eyeshadow Primer Potion. It's a long lasting eyeshadow base. So I just have like a little trial of it. I've been able to use it a couple different times. It says nude on the back there. I'm not sure how well you'll see the writing there, but there it is. So I've been trying that out for a while and I actually have to say, I really like it. The thing with this though, is if you're somebody that's uh, a more mature beauty or like 30 and on up or something like that, I, I feel like it smooths the lines, like or smooths your eyelids a little bit more and helps you to put the eyeshadow on a little bit better. You know, it's a little more smoother and everything. I wouldn't say it's one of those ones where it camouflages your eyelids. So if you're something that does have a little more darkness on your eyelids or anything like that, you might not want this or you might want to put just a little extra concealer or something else there if anything you know do a little extra something i don't know for me i don't like doubling up on my eyes like that you know some people don't mind it i wouldn't like it because as the older i get and I, I just feel like they might they could get crepey yeah this really smooths it out there so i didn't mind it i don't i kind of liked it we'll see i might purchase the full size might i'm not quite sure i do have other eye primers to get through but it's nice that i got to try and i haven't really tried a lot of the urban decay primers i really love this is really great i feel for anybody with mature skin or somebody that wants light coverage or doesn't like the heavy liquid foundation or liquid foundation at all is the pure cosmetics uh four in one concealer um foundation and this one here is in their fancy uh, anniversary packaging, but um, it doesn't always come like this. It's just their anniversary collection. But this is the foreign one. It says pressed mineral makeup and it has a broad spectrum SPF of 15. So there is already uh, some SPF here. So by the time you put your sunscreen on and this, you'd be good to go. And I'll tell you what, I love this stuff. I've used it by itself. I've used it with my tinted moisturizers or tinted BB cream things, stuff like that. And it's really good. That's when I use it the most. It's probably, dare I even say, but I'm going to say it. I love it even more than my Laura Geller Balance and Brighton. I do. I don't know. It seems to give me the coverage I just really like when I'm using a powder type foundation you know, and I'm just in a hurry. I don't want nothing major and, you know, just depending. And this I use a lot of times in the upper coming, upper, the upcoming more warmer, warmer season. So yes, really like this stuff. The other item I love that's a powder and I highly recommend anybody getting this. It's finely milled. It gives a nice kind of a subtle glow to the skin. It doesn't look glittery, glowy to over the top, but if you want something that gives you a little more healthy glow, it's the Cover FX 
powder. This one's in light. It's the illuminating setting powder. And oh my goodness, these are, I got this one for $10. This is just the um, deluxe kind of size or whatever you want to call it. And it's going to last me. And I really like it because it is finely milled. It does give a nice more glow to the skin, but it looks natural. It doesn't look it's not glowy, glittery kind of a thing. It just gives a nice glow. Then on to eyeliner. This is from Rimmel and it's the 24 hour color precise eyeliner. Now, I don't wear my makeup 24 hours uh, unless, you know, I had to, but I don't really wear mine 24 hours. This is a really, really, really nice eyeliner. Like the ones with the uh, tip like this. Now, I know that looks long that is a really long one but that's why i like it because i feel like i can get it perfectly tight to my eyelashes and still do that little flick even if i want to that it's just really nice this gives a little more of a wet look for a bit there but it does dry up after a while into a satiny kind of and it doesn't stay wet long or look wet or too whatever i really liked it it lasted really pretty much until I did have to take my makeup off. And usually I'm somebody that puts my makeup on and leaves it on for maybe nine hours the most or something. Lipstick, so I have our lip products, I guess. One is a lipstick and it is a Rimmel. And this is in number 700 Naughty Nude. <laughs> I'll have to laugh at the name of that. It's one of the ones that are, it's a black casing. It has a packaging like this, like, I'm not sure what collection this is, but it's black packaging and then you kind of see the color of what's supposed to be there. Here it is here, Naughty Nude. Now, I forget who it was. There it is. Someone said it's a dupe for Mac Teddy something. You guys might know what I'm talking about if you're familiar with it, but it's Teddy Bear, Teddy something. I don't know. They said it was a dupe for it, and it's really pretty. It's a real pretty nude. It's more brown pink nude, brown pinky nude. That's how I want to say it. And then finally, I've been on my little lip gloss kick sometimes, been wearing some of my lip glosses, and I was wearing from Too Faced the uh, peach, one of their peach lip glosses, and I really like these. These are really nice. If you, This one's in Papa Don't Peach, so it is a, another neutral color, and the doe foot applicators are really nice. I like these kind of doe foot applicators that point like that precisely. And there it is right there. And I've worn that a couple different times. So, yeah. All right, beauties, that is everything. That is it. That was enough. That was quite a bit this time around. So I will put a link, like I said, I'll have Monica's video down below. Please go check her out. And if you did come from Monica's channel, welcome. I hope you stick around and join me each week. And if you did find this video helpful and liked it, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate that very much. Put a smile on my face. So if you do want to join me each week, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And right next to the subscribe button is a bell. So click on the bell as well as the subscribe button. And the bell will actually notify you by email of when my new videos are up and ready to watch. I always tell everybody, make sure you hit the bell, not just the subscribe button, but hit the bell too if you guys want to join me each week. And as always, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. I love you guys. Bye.